Hi there. I always do that intro when I'm about to make a dumb joke. Y'all y'all might have noticed that, or at least I sure have, because I'm the one who has to sit here and record these things. We're just going to talk about the Boomco Covenant Carbine. Or should I say pistol? Yeah, anyway. So I was about to sit there and do some really rough version of the Halo theme. I'm glad that I interrupted myself, to be honest. Because I have to live with me, y'all don't. So, regardless, so this is a spring-powered pistol. I don't know if y'all played Halo. Carbine would, Carbine is supposed to be synonymous with shorter rifle for, like, shorter engagements. Not this short! Dang! So, uh, yeah, it's not super cozy to hold. Like, I'm 5'8". I don't have super big hands, so that is why I can hold it. But yeah, this is the uh, Covenant Carbine from Boomco. It's part of their Halo series. Um, obviously, I knew about the size and I still bought it because I'm a sucker. I'm kidding, I just wanted all of them. Let's show you how it works. Uh, so it feeds from the top. It's very similar with a lot of other Boomco style blasters in that sense that it is, I mean, once you prime it, you cannot fire it, so keep that in mind. It came with specifically this one. It's the six round in block style clip. I don't know if they're calling it in block, but it is a clip. But it is also a magazine. So, actually, no, it is more clip since there is no internal magazine. It just, this is the mag. Inception sound effect. So, you feed it from the top. Once you feed it in, it, you cannot remove it, but you can just feed it through. You can also just push it through. So, needless to say, this is the exact mechanic that I would really like out of a Nerf Blaster. Because I would just love to keep, just like, after about halfway through, man, I really need to top off. And then just like, throw another one on top, and then this one drops out whenever you're ready. But, you know, anyway, it shoots these Boomco darts, which are basically McDonald's straws with a weird uh, texture on it. I believe I made you feel it last time. I'm going to make you do it again, because I like that joke. I'm going to tell it twice. Feels a little weird, don't it? So, uh, yeah, they fit right in. Um... It also has uh, dart storage, or, or yeah, there's still darts. Dart storage here in the pistol grip, um, or not really pistol grip, it's kind of the hand guard, I guess. This thing is really wonkily shaped. Uh, it does not have much of a barrel. It's very, very open in there, so, it, you know, reduced barrel drag as a result. Uh, you know, I'm giving a lot of crap. It is fun. It's not my favorite of the Halo line, that's for sure, but it is still fun. So... I'm going to take you to the range to show you how it works. So that's all six, and then we can take the mag out, or the clip out, then, or if you want to, show it in the top, and let's, uh, well, you can't really feed it that well that way. Um, you do only get one clip with it. Um, So keep that in mind, but all Boom Clo clips are compatible, or at least the ones that are styled after this. I don't I don't really know a whole lot about the brand, so they might have some different style, but I know if you buy like the 20 rounder or the 40 rounder, I don't think they have a 40, but they definitely have a 20, uh, it will be compatible in this, but because this is like fed from the top, uh, it is graded for that weight, so to speak. So if you put in a 20, which is literally like stick right up on top, it might be a little heavy, so when you prime the handle backwards, it may fall a little bit more and um, not feed as efficiently. Uh, so that's something to keep out for. But you can, I'll quit loading in the same clip and taking it out. You can um, feed the eight rounders that came with the uh, Halo Assault Rifle and that'll feed just fine. And if anything with eight rounds, it's more like a Garand, except just no ping. Then we can just and drop another one on top. That's literally my favorite part of these blasters. Then I've still got two more because I didn't feed that quite right. 
There we go. And now for our last one. So yeah, that's the Covenant Carbine. Uh, it's pretty easy to use, as you can tell. I would not get it if you're a particularly large person with big hands, because this is not a very comfortable grip. It's, it's kind of it's a thumb hole stock, which aren't super cozy for um, thumb hole style grips. Tend to be a little com complicated for things made for children that tend to be co-opted by adults. Go figure. Like I mean, that's kind of the whole mark in that. You know, uh, we have to be a little self-aware that we might not be the target market. Though, I would argue that with Halo-themed branding, a franchise that's been out for a while, like, I literally, like, I don't care how these perform, I'm buying them because I've got to do a favor for 11, 12-year-old Cole. I got to get these because I was literally, I in one of my videos, I referenced that I pretended that the long shot was an assault rifle by loading it in the mag, uh, the mag storage and... You know, that's, uh, so these, when they were announced, were really important, uh, to me in that I just had a bunch of leftover, I had a bunch of, um, uh, usable DOSH, and I was like, I'm buying all these stupid blasters, but the only ones I'm missing now are the, um, the Blaze of Glory shotgun, I think, Blaze of Glory, I might have said Glory, huh, but, um, uh, and the... There's like a laser designator from, I believe, Reach. Uh, I don't have that one. I don't really care to get that one too much. Uh, the shotgun, however, I would really like. I've also heard that that's probably the most uh, fieldable of the blasters. So that is what I have to say about this video, um, or at least this blaster in this video. Uh, so thank you for joining me on today. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. If you have someone in your life who likes Nerf, share the video. Why not, right? Uh, if you want to catch up with me on some of my other social media, it'll be in the description down below. Uh, my brother and I also uh, have started a podcast. We are on our first episode, or at least at the time of me recording this, we are on our first episode. And let's see, we're available on iTunes and Google Play. We're not available on Spotify yet. We're working on that, though. Uh, the Or we also have a direct link to it that'll also be in the, uh, description, or the description down below. If you want to Google it, we're catch up with Crab Legs. Crab Legs is one word. We don't talk about Nerf. We just talk about whatever two brothers talk about that we've been talking about for 15 to 20 years. And we decided to finally record it. It's pretty neat. Or at least I think so. But I'm also half the participants in the podcast, so I might be a little biased. But that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the continued support. And, um... Y'all have a nice day. I haven't said that. I've only been saying bye, but you guys have a good day.